driver of a semi-trailer, lost control of his rig. The 42-ton missile caused havoc before stopping just metres from a sleeping family. And they've been speaking with Christian de Garris. At least 20 tonnes and out of control. It could have easily been death on wheels. But it was a bit of quick thinking by the driver and a whole lot of luck that saved Mohamed Volnovich and his young family. When you're sitting there relaxing, watching the TV, in one moment there was an explosion. You get shock over your life. This almighty bang, um, lights went out, there was a big flash, the back of the house lit up. That was the moment it came to rest. It had lost control 100 metres earlier, snapping an electricity pole like a twig. The driver then tried to take the bend into a side street, shearing a hedge and just squeezing past another pole while managing to avoid Muhammad's home. I've been rushing upstairs to look at my wife and my daughter. What happened to them? The green grocer, his wife and nine-year-old daughter went into shock. When we look through the window, it's a semi-trailer packed on the front of our house. Oh, they were absolutely hysterical, so, and it was pouring with rain. Power lines were exposed and gas pipes ruptured. The risk of the electricity activating the gas was our immediate problem. Jim Odlin took control in the chaos, pulling the stunned driver free. Oh, no, he was more in shock. He just wouldn't get out, and so I sort of uh, just went up on the side there and coaxed him out. As if this driver wasn't already lucky enough, this is the fence railing. It goes all the way to the back of the cabin, a little bit higher, and he would have been impaled. Police are investigating if rain and speed are to blame. Part of the Great Western Highway was closed until this afternoon when the truck was eventually removed. Christian DeGarris, 10 Eyewitness News. Thread between two power poles, a 25-ton truck that went crash in the night. There was a huge crash. I felt that the house shake. The semi-trailer ploughed off the Great Western Highway just before midnight. Inside this home, the local grocer, his wife and daughter. Was sitting there relaxing, watching the TV. In one moment there was an explosion. You get shock over your life. It burst a gas main and brought down power lines. With the rain, a perfect storm for disaster somehow avoided. Well, there were evacuations as a result of that uh, hazmat declared a... Uh, a hot zone. When neighbours rushed outside, the driver from Cowra was still in his seat. They managed to help get him out. He doesn't have a scratch. The 42-year-old told locals he was trying to slow down. He probably aquaplaned across because we had a lot of water. Last night's rain was the heaviest September fall in seven years. The I to the Blue Mountains, strong winds and torrential rain wreaked havoc on homes and roads. Whoa. The closest of calls, a runaway semi coming to rest on the doorstep of this Springwood home. And these poor people here, I don't know how they, they survived. It was late last night when wet weather and possibly speed caused the 20 ton rig to take its dangerous detour on the Great Western Highway. A gas main was ruptured and there were live wires on the ground. The truck taking out a power pole before ploughing just metres from where parents and a child were sleeping. We are really, really lucky, like, you're, like we've been blessed with another life. Somehow the truck driver was not injured. He was just sitting on the side of the road in shock. Today he was no, camera shy. No, mate, I'm not As a marathon operation worked to retrieve the semi-trailer, first a crane to lift it, then two tow trucks to haul it away. Reared off the highway and stopped just metres from their house. Those sleeping inside were traumatised. It was an unwelcome wake-up call in Boland Avenue. A 10-year-old girl was sleeping when the truck roared off the highway and into the front yard. In one moment there was an explosion. You get shock over your life and they cut the power. Exactly in that moment you don't know what's happened. Neighbours were startled by the commotion. I was in bed asleep <coughs> and there was a very loud bang <laughs> which woke me up. It was uh, miraculous that someone uh, wasn't hurt. In fact, one witness um, uh, who was travelling behind the truck actually had live wires fall on her car. After knocking down a power pole, the truck mounted this footpath, narrowly missing a second power pole before careering through the garden and coming to rest perilously close to homes. A gas leak forced the evacuation of nearby homes and authorities scrambled to restore services. A turning lane on the Great Western Highway was closed and shaken residents were left asking, what if? If my grandchildren were playing here and that truck went off the road, 
it could have killed us all. The owner of the house, a survivor of the Bosnian war, said he's grateful that this time no one was hurt. We are very lucky. You know, thanks God, we are really, really lucky, like, you know, like we've been blessed with another life. I can say that. Police say the truck driver passed a breath test and while the investigation will determine whether speed or fatigue were factors, it was raining and drivers are being urged to be vigilant in the wet. Nicole Chettle, ABC News.